I'm Lauren of All Trades, and today I'm eating at Bonsai Sushi. Tonight we are heading to Bonsai Sushi. We are on the Carnival Horizon on a previous cruise, though not on Horizon, so it might not be a perfect comparison, but on a previous cruise, we tried the omakase, which is a menu item at Bonsai Sushi on the bigger ships. I don't know what qualifies as a bigger ship. I just know we tried to order it on Legend and they said bigger. So when we were on Celebration a month ago, we ordered the omakase for two, which is priced a lot lower per person than the omakase for one. And we're curious if that affects the portions of the, of the meal. Um, the menu claims that you will not leave hungry. We felt like that basically wasn't true for the omakase for two. So we're gonna order an omakase for one, for one of us, and then some regular sushi for the other one of us and basically compare the portions and see how they stack up. Thank you. Our main goal is to try the omakase for one, and then because we need two people's worth of food, spicy tuna, don't want asparagus, so we'll get three nigiri uh, salmon, one for me, two for you, one tuna nigiri for me, and an amberjack nigiri for you. Uh, yep, that looks good. Excellent, as usual. So that was the omakase for one plus some sushi here at Bonsai Sushi. It did seem like the single person portions were more or less identical to the two person portions. You just got double of everything when we had the two person portion. That was hard to say. We did enjoy it. I don't really like the spinach thing. So last time I ate it because it was part of my meal. This time I was able to opt out because we had other food. Husband enjoyed it a lot. Uh, we liked everything else a lot. As far as their claim of, I quote, we promise you won't leave hungry, exclamation point, end quote. No, <laughs> disagree. Um, anyone with a healthy appetite is going to leave hungry. So if you are one person and you have a healthy appetite, I would recommend getting the two-person version because it's twice as much food, but it is less than double the cost. It is $24 for two, $17 for one. Um, and $24 for two is a reasonable price. Um, we've gotten the sushi boat before and it's a lot more food. And on the current menu prices, it's only $4 more. So we would probably pick the sushi boat every time over the omakase based on how much food it is. What we did tonight, which was one omakase and whatever the sushi we wanted, that worked out great, especially because there was something that I really didn't want to eat. Omakase means that the chef gets to pick the meal. Um, 
Our omakase on this cruise was very similar to our last cruise, and it might have been identical, but we picked beef instead of fish for our main course. We were on a cruise years and years ago where one of our friends ordered the omakase, and I, we believe that she got some different items, so it does change, just not very often. It does seem like all of the items are cooked, so if you are someone who doesn't want to eat raw fish, this is something you'd be able to eat. Everything was cooked. Overall, I recommend it as something to eat, but just not something that will not leave you hungry. <laughs> Order some extra stuff to go with it, or there's always the buffet or pizza, or on some ships, even other selections as well around the ship that are free that you can round out your meal with. That's it for me and omakase at Banzai Sushi on the horizon.